Hello Internet, welcome back to our Circadian Dice series. In the last episode, we actually had a two for one. First, we took the Elementalist into the Bandit Raid, and then after that, we unlocked the new Monk class. The Monk class had a lot of things, new mechanics that we needed to talk about, and then we decided, since it was a short episode, we would take the Monk into the Bandit Raid as well. So if you're interested, go back, check that out. It was our first playthrough of the Monk, which is pretty monumental. So now I think we will in this episode also play the monk. So everyone welcome back. Yeah, we just unlocked the monk. I, I do like the monk class conceptually. I just think that the, uh, I, I often have a little bit of a hard time snowballing with the monk. So the longer scenarios tend to be pretty arduous because we don't have any high value abilities that really let us shine super well. So I think we'll go, why don't we do the vampire nest? Although already I remember this uh, scenario. I suspect the monk will do pretty poorly because we have to beat these five damage. Uh, they have five health and they have life steal, which is uh, something that's going to be a little difficult to surmount given that we have no real high value abilities. So what I think we will do, I think we'll take the bow again because I do like the bow and we'll take the uh, adventuring kit as well. I would love to get more attacks on our die face to start, which is why I'm taking the bow. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes, but we'll go into the vampire nest. Let's uh, give this a shot, shall we? Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the series. Two chests right off the bat is good, but we don't, we only get, uh, oh, we have five turns. Oh, okay. Oh, but they fear when they hit us. I thought they feared when they retreated. Okay. Uh, well, the one HP doesn't really do much for us on that first roll. This is better. And I think I will take some fear damage to try and unlock this chest. I'd love to keep the key, but we really can't. We want to kill both this turn. Okay, that will do. Let's break you first. Oh, lore chest. Okay, so we have the option of... The lore chest basically gives us a new ability and gives us charges for our other abilities. And then the treasure chest, of course, has gold and possibly gems in it. And I'll tell you what, Internet, I think we want to open both. It is nighttime, which means our Yin ability will charge Yang when we when we use this. So it does cost us a red gem, but we got a new ability, Crystallized Time. If it's day, gain a white gem, and it becomes nighttime. If it's night, gain a red gem, and it becomes daytime. Hmm. That's interesting. It does cost blue gems, which we don't have any way of generating at the moment. So that's a bit of a bummer. We have five gold. Man, these are expensive, huh? Let's restock anyway, see what we can maybe get something new. Wild gem early is really good. Sweep attack also pretty good. I think we will have a lot of low tier enemies, at least early on in this scenario. Yeah, I mean, it's not amazing. I would like to get a double or triple attack. Oh, do we save our gold or do we spend it, internet? Oh, I don't know. I think we do this. And just do that and hope for the best. I, I'm a little concerned. Although with a combination strike, we can actually double up on the lifesteal sweep attack. So maybe that can do something for us later on. Oh no, we found another mutated enemy. Uh, this one has troll blooded, which means it gains regenerate, which means it heals at the end of every turn. Ah, <sighs> which is not great because you already heal for one because you have lifesteal. So that's a huge bummer. And I honestly, I think we kill you this turn just to take you off the table. Six charges for crystal and time. I mean, we already have so, so many and we don't have blue gems. This turn rolled faces count as being both. We had this in the last run. It was really good. Although we struggled to get the gems to do it. We did pick up a wild gem though. So I'm going to pick that up and hope for the best. Also eight for a freaking chest is just so much. Unless we get a key, there's no way. Well, that's pretty great. We're going to open that. It's going to give us a ton of gold. And we're going to get a life steal off on the bat as well. So that was a pretty good round for us. Let us... We have nine gold. We really, really want to buy some better attacks. I'm not seeing anything on the board that's super good. We could get a lot more gem generation. Which we know has a lot of value. Because of our abilities that we've picked up. We already have a gem that generates... We already have an ability that generates gems. 
that's a tough one. I think we restock and we look for double or triple attacks. Oh my goodness, we can't get anything. Okay, we can't afford to keep re-rolling, so we're just going to move on. All right, and we're starting to see our first uh, bit of lifesteal, which is uh, definitely, definitely problematic. Mm, it's nighttime, we can't use the Yang ability. Let's use Circadian Mastery. This will add a symbol to both of the die that we have when we keep them. So that one bumped to a double attack, and this one gained a wild gem, which is pretty great. So I think we'll just hit you. I'm a little worried we're not going to be able to kill them before time runs out on this particular outing. It's daylight, so let's use Yang to cleanse our fear and regain some HP and gain a charge for Yin, which we're going to use later. Hmm. This is fine, so we'll hit you. You're just going to heal. I meant to keep that as a shield. Remember, the fist uh, symbol, if we don't use it as an attack, it, it becomes a shield. So we could have insulated ourselves from both points of damage. And I, yep, just was not paying attention. Okay, we have eight gold still. I don't want to keep restocking. We're going to hold off until we do have the bow. So picking up an extra pierce attack is pretty good. Plus, it has the blitz ability. Uh, you know, four hearts just aren't really going to do it for me. Getting that extra pierce attack is pretty good, and it's pretty cheap. Let's do it. It gives us some experience as well, so we're that much closer to leveling up and getting our third die. I don't I don't want this. Um, the Blitz, though, I think will probably do some, some good work for us here at some point. Okay, so this will kill you outright, deal one piercing damage to the other enemy, and then we can kill you as well. So that immediately worked out in our favor. I see we have more pierce attack along with a stun. This little uh, circular symbol means it stuns. That's really great. I would really like to put that on our next die instead of replacing a face we already have. Let's hold off and maybe we can get that on our next dice here. Okay, adds one fear per turn. Yeah, we keep this. Oh, this is pretty good too. Look at this thing. Uh, it adds this all to the same face. So we could put that on really anything and just increase our value. Oh, I really want the double pierce stun though. Hmm. Well, firstly, we keep this. And we can't kill the big bad this turn. We take four fear damage if we don't kill any of the bats, but we can put him down to one HP, so we guarantee kill him next turn. And if we get a pierce after that, we can chain it into clearing the whole board. This is not pierce damage, and it would use our only wild gem. Combination strikes does nothing because it only applies to one face. I'm going to buy this. I'm just sitting here looking at it. I'm going to buy this, and I think we're just going to put this right here. Yeah, and that of course opens up our next die. So I think we're just going to deal a lot of damage to you so we can put you down next turn. Oh man, you hit me. I have six fear. Okay, this gives us a lot of HP, which is pretty good. And it would let us kill him, but we would die to fear damage. So we need to reroll this. And this kills everything on the board. So we're going to keep this. And it will zap everything on the board. And we gained Harmonize. Temporarily change the rolled face on each die to a copy of the target rolled face. Okay, so for one of each gem, we could replace all of our faces with just one that we had already rolled. And that does seem pretty good. I just don't foresee us being able to really use that ability. Frankly, because of its cost, we're already halfway through the run. We're doing okay, but we really need to cleanse some of our fear. So next time it's daylight and we have white gems, we're going to do that. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot get through that guy's shield enough to kill him. So I think we'll just keep this. We're insulated. <sighs> yeah, we'll keep this. We'll kill one. We'll hit you for one. And then you can't do damage this turn anyway because uh, we have a shield. So we're not going to take any more fear damage. We do now have a, a wild gem so we could heal. But it's nighttime so we would not gain a charge for Yin which is a, a core focus of what we need to be doing, so we're not going to do that. Hmm. This is not great. 
It's fine. Just keep it. We'll deal one to you. We'll get a little life steal there. But we take uh, we take a hit there, unfortunately. Uh, no chests on the board, so I don't think that we need this necessarily. The red gem would be nice. The extra gold. I mean, it would just count towards our points, but then we're not dealing any damage. We're going to reroll and hopefully get a double attack here, which we did. And still nighttime, so we can't use the yin ability. We're going to hold off on that. More points, please. And here is where things get concerning, because these guys are going to be pretty tough. Because basically every turn they heal for 2 HP. And we're going to struggle, I think, to get through. What does this do? Faces with a single non-fang attack symbol can be used to attack twice this turn. So it doesn't double the value of the gems or anything, it just lets us hit twice with that ability. Which, frankly, any little bit of extra damage at the moment... What is crystallized time? If it's day, gain a white gem. If it becomes night. If it's night, gain a red gem. And it becomes day. For a blue gem, gaining a red. And it becomes daylight, which would let us use... It doesn't matter, because next reroll it's going to be day anyway. I think we keep this. And we'll use combo strikes to deal a little extra damage to this guy. And we'll just try. We're not going to be able to kill them. Probably even this turn will be a bit of a struggle. Okay, so we can kill them this turn. We keep this because of the gems, mostly. And because the shields will protect us from the lifesteal, which will keep them from regenning. We're going to use this to clear some of our fear, which we desperately needed to do. In fact, let's do it again. And kill you. Hit you. And you won't regen because we have shield. Can I can't deal four damage this turn again? I think I keep this for the gems Although we're capped on red gems still we want more white gems. I think is important So we'll just knock you down. Hopefully we can end you this turn That's really not gonna do it. Oh, yes, it would have done it. I didn't see he didn't fully regen I guess we had a shield last turn that I had not accounted for Two gold and two HP though pretty great. So we're gonna we're gonna do that and we're going to hold on to that gold. I, d I think we're past the point of buying things. We're getting later into the run. And now we want to save that for score if we're able. Hmm. Well, we definitely want the wild gem. And we definitely want this. Because it could chain kill the bat as well. Would be great. Excellent. Worked out for us. And then... Pieces with a single non-fang attack symbol. So you're going to regen one anyway. Crystallized time. If it's day, it becomes night. So this would give us a white gem. Which I don't see... Why not? I mean... Uh, oh, it would use a wild gem. No, I think I'll hang on to that. Nightfall. We don't need the full heal. Although, you know, getting the blitz anytime is really good. This is better. And it's nighttime, so I think we kill you. Using our red gem. All right, we're, we're moving on to the final thing. Deal damage to target enemy equal to the number of times you have attacked this turn. Melee attacks count twice. Wow, that would be really, really good. But it's a little late to break our streak now, so let's just go with it. Piercing attack and lifesteal. Oh, you're going to be real tough. Because you're going to heal for three every turn. I need my high damage attacks. And maybe we can work combo strike in there. None of these other ones really help us. Change the world face on each die to a copy. Okay, so if we can get a big damage attack here. I will... Oh, it'll use all my gems, but one. So if I do this, I get to hit you for six, which is two more points of damage than I can do now. Or I could just use Yin, which saves me many gems and deals the same amount of extra damage. Plus we get the life steal off of the splash attack. I'm a little nervous about the fear guys not being uh, us not giving any attention to the fear guys is a little concerning. I should have used combination strike as well. We could have nearly killed them this turn. I'm a little nervous. I don't know if we're going to be able to to deal with this. Combination strike does nothing if we keep this. Now I think I harmonize. And we change everything to the piercing. So we can kill you and hopefully the pierce hits the bats as well. It did not. 
We were really hoping that would chain into killing some of the bats, but that's okay. We did kill the, the main threat. Now we have to deal with the bats this turn or we're going to die to fear damage. Although if we keep this, we get a shield. We still only kill one. We do heal. We get a gold. I think we reroll. We want attacks here. <sighs> this is acceptable. We'll heal for two. We'll kill the bats. And now we just have to live, basically. <laughs> we just have to live. Okay. Keep the wild gem, for sure. We don't have yin charges, but we can use... Combo strikes would also not kill you. Crystallize time converts... It will convert our wild gem to a white gem. But we already have... I mean, there's no reason to do that. <laughs> Why would we do that? Let's do this so we get a charge of yin, then we can kill one of them. So that's two damage off the board. Now we just have to live. We have plenty, we have HP, we're gonna survive. And we won. Okay. So a little tight there at the end. I was a little concerned we weren't gonna surmount them, but we did get a five star performance on the monk, uh, which I think will unlock a relic because we previously had a five star performance. We've unlocked the belt of balance. What are you? At the end of your turn, gain two health if you have two or more shield. Start with the ability Defensive Stance. Add a temporary shield to each rolled face. I mean, two health if we have two or more shield, it's just not going to come up that much. Yes, Defensive Stance seems good. And yes, as the monk, we have the ability to use our fists as shields. I just don't see... Two HP is just not that significant. At the end of a turn... So, I mean, I could do that every turn. It's not at the end of every wave. It's at the end of a turn. Still, though, not terribly... Not, it doesn't seem very good, frankly. Um, but okay. Everybody, for now, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed playing as the monk here, watching me play as the monk. I'll be back with more Circadian Dice in the near future, of course. And I will see you in the next video.